Details of our Golf Smarter Adventure to Portugal with Tara Fox and Alan Tullif. This is Golf Smarter. Together they are Travel Made Impressive, TMI Golf, mm -hmm. and um, been doing this for a number of years. And this is to talk about the next Golf Smarter Adventure, and that is to Portugal. That's right. Alan, have you done this trip already? Yes. Tell me about this trip. This is based in, you know, like we're based around um, Lisbon and then move on to Vila Moura, which is the golf capital of um, Portugal. Golf courses are stunning. Most of them are very, very uh, mature. Portuguese golf courses with umbrella pines. <laughs> Vila Moura as a golf destination is really not that well known because it's not that old, right? No, I would think probably the 70s was it, it's, the golf started to grow in the 70s in Portugal. People from the UK traveling there built a lot of the courses. Is that right? Yeah. And so let's talk about the golf courses we're going to play now. There's five golf courses in Villa Mora. Yeah. Uh, we've got scheduled for three of them. But if somebody wants to play all five, that can be worked out, right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Within the area, there is probably a lot more golf courses than just five outside, outside Villa Mura. But if somebody wants to play that, that can be arranged for them to play something like that. Well, let's talk about how um, we're going to break this up because this is a couple's trip. We're inviting golfers to bring their partners with them, whether they play golf or not, which I'm doing. I'm going to be bringing my wife who doesn't play golf. What are the activities that they get to do while we're playing golf? First, when we're in Lisbon, um, when you guys arrive, we have a walking tour of Lisbon. Lisbon's a very historical city, as most people know. And, you know, you can do a ton of things. Once we go down to Villa Mora, when the golfers are on the course, I think your wife is going to be taking the non-golfers, um, possibly as everything's optional, but we have a boat trip arranged to see the Bengali caves and the coast of the Algarve. Alan can tell you more about the beauty of the Algarve, the coastline there. But you also have the option, um, depends on how busy your wife wants to be, but they do have wine tasting. They do have walking tours as well there. So if you're a non-golfer, there's a ton to do. Also, I'll let him talk about the port. You know, Villa Mora itself is quite interesting, lovely lunch spots, very Portuguese. But there's also beautiful beaches there, right? Gorgeous. I mean, you just go hang out at the beach. We are going to be there in September where the weather should be great. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Beaches are beautiful. Most beaches have got beach bars on, beach restaurants, so you can um, sit in the beach, relax on the beach, move up to the bar for lunch, um, have some wine. Some tapas. Some tapas. It's all, all, all <laughs> there for you. A lot of fish. A lot of fish. Fresh fish. As well. fish yeah. the, the food there, the Mediterranean food diet, I mean, it's unbelievable. Everything is so fresh. You feel your body feels better when you're over there. It's amazing. And it's the southern part of the Atlantic part for, for Portugal. It's not far from the Mediterranean. No. <laughs> so the uh, trip again is going to be September 5th through the 13th, 2024. We're going to have a total of 12 people. So it's me and my wife, Joanne, and five other couples who are going to be doing this. Uh, Alan, let's talk about each of the, the three golf courses that we will we will be playing. So let's talk about those three first. Pinhal. Pinhal. It was originally called Villa Mura Number 2 when it was first built. The courses were called Villa Mura 1, 2, and 3 when they first built the three courses. And this was Villa Mura 2. It's a, it's a, a very tight kind of Portuguese course with umbrella pines up and down each side of the fairway. And there's a belief that there's 90% air through these trees, but I, I don't believe that theory because I've tried it a few times. It doesn't work. It's like a screen door, 90% air, but good luck. It's always in very good condition. It's um, got beautiful bar come terrace overlooking the driving range. First tee and 10th tee are not far away, so you can either start back nine or front nine. And the greens are, are tight, guarded, small greens, Usually very fast. It, they're grainy, um, which means that like you know the greens will be um, running fast one way, slow the other way. So people do find this a huge challenge as golf course. Oh boy, do we have a handicap qualification here? Do you have to have a certain handicap to sign up for this trip? No, they, they, as long as you've got a handicap, they're normally quite comfortable letting you on. They, they don't ask for handicaps very often now. Good, good to know. <laughs> yeah. All right. So what about our second course? Second course would be Millennium. Millennium. Which was originally Villa Mura 
number three, which was split into two courses, one called Laguna and one called Millennium, which was one course. There is now, it's now two courses, which the Millennium comes from the year 2000. So, of course, it's not super old Millennium. But again, um, nine, nine holes are in the Umbrella Pines, which around a beautiful estate, houses on the golf course. They're not close to the course, but you can actually see them through the trees. And it's, again, a very nice, got nice setup. These courses are not super long. They're like mainly go on the keep the ball in the fairway. Course management. Course management. You know, keep the ball in the fairway, enjoy your golf. It's a nice, nice area to play golf. We call that golf smarter. Golf, golf, smarter, golf smarter. That's yeah, right. yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's golf right. smarter. <laughs> well yeah. And our third course that we're playing. The third course is classified now as that was Willamura one, and it's now classified as the old course. It is a, a real challenge, this golf course. It's got a great reputation in Portugal as well as um, the rest of the world of, of being a, a great golf course. They've all they've all held quite a few things there, like the Portuguese Open's been held there a few years back. To me, it's one of the best golf courses to play. Very, very similar to the setup, and maybe you know, like maybe like a Valderrama with the, the umbrella pines, dog legs to the left. You know, you've got to think of you know where you're going to hit your tee shot to. You love that course. Yeah, yeah, you've it's good. I've played, 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 played it a, a lot of time, and it beats you up every time. Do we need to bring extra balls? Is that what you're trying to tell us? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Great. Most of the holes, it's hard to lose a ball because it, it doesn't go far once you hit these trees. <laughs> okay. It brings you down to earth again. Like, you know, your 300-yard drives are gone. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had them to start with? <laughs> other than those three rounds of golf, there's other activities we're going to be doing in Villamora. Is that like a boat ride? Well, it's, it's a boat ride. They have these incredible uh, caves called the Bengali Caves. It's something that people do there um, all the time. So they see the coast of Algarve, which is gorgeous. It's just a pretty cliffs and it, it, beaches. It, 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 cliffs and, and beaches that go on forever, all the way yeah. along that Algarve coast. You know, there's just a lot of walking and, you know, that we could do walking trips and that as well around Algarve um, just to see these places. Yeah, make sure you bring your walking shoes because that's, you know, the Europeans and especially the Portuguese are you really don't drive anywhere, right? They have great lunch spots. You'll be walking everywhere. It's just the, the lifestyle, the culture there is so fascinating. Phenomenal. Villamora is not a traditional Portuguese area, but there are activities, there are things around there that are traditional Portuguese, correct? Yes, yeah. Back off the uh, marina, you have a lot of proper Portuguese restaurants. Even on the marina, there is some really good Portuguese restaurants still, which give you a lot of choice on Portuguese food. They eat basically a lot of fish and they do do quite a bit of steak as well. Okay. So all the food's good that people eat there. You know, I had a trip down there in September and they were all great. They're, everybody enjoyed their time. And, and it's not overpriced. That's one thing about Portugal. It's not overpriced. You go there, Villa Moura is probably the most expensive place in Portugal. It's nothing compared to what prices were charged in America. Wow. Oh, that's really good to know. Yeah. So we're going to set a deadline here of July 15th for people to sign up because, again, the trip is September 5th through the 13th. Arrive on the 4th, and the trip will start on the 5th, and we'll do a couple days in Lisbon. We do an overnight in Lisbon, so um, you'll do the walking tour when you arrive on the 5th, and then the next day we're there for most of the day, and then we head down to Villa Mora. And tell me about how, how we get to Villa Mora and how long it takes. Well, we have a bus for your trip, and then how long does it take? Well, well, two hours and 30 minutes down. And then... The good thing is that on the way back, we'll come back to Lisbon via the, the bus, right. uh, but we'll be staying at a hotel at the airport so that you can either get a late night flight or a first thing in the morning flight and you don't have to really worry about hassling that. Exactly. That was a great plan. Thank you for yeah, doing that. No problem. Everybody likes to fly their different airlines and different points and everybody leaves at different times. So it's a lot easier just to be close to the airport so you can pop on your flight. So this is going to be a lot of fun. I really encourage every Golf Smarter listener to check their calendar, check their spouse, Check a buddy. If, if you know, like, if you don't have a spouse, you don't have a partner, but you want to invite somebody, invite them, and we'll we'll all have friends at the end of the trip. But bring bring your friends along as, as well. So one more time, it is going to be September fifth through the thirteenth, twenty twenty four. We're limiting the size of the group, small group, 
And you need to sign up by July 15th, 2024 to get your space in. There's always people who cancel at the last minute. So don't worry about thinking that you didn't make it in. Just go ahead and sign up. And nobody is confirmed until we get the full group size. So please sign up and uh, we can discuss more of it later. To get all the information, to download the PDF, to find out the pricing, and to make sure that you're going to be part of this Golf Smarter Adventure, please go to tmigolf.com slash golfsmarter. That's tmigolf.com slash golfsmarter. And let's play golf together in Portugal. Portugal.